I'm a big fan of using human beings to evaluate indoor air quality. Let's, let's take a very simple scent, something called limonene, the citrus scent or the lemon scent. It's a very common molecule that's added to many products to give them that citrus scent. And it turns out that limonene is one of these molecules that has what we call handedness. There exists left-handed limonene and right-handed limonene. And there's no way you can put that left hand into a right-handed glove and have it fit properly. It turns out that we have odor receptors that are specific to either the left-handed molecule or the right-handed molecule. So these molecules, they're identical to one another in terms of number of carbons, number of hydrogens, number of double bonds. The only difference is the way the fingers are arranged on the, on the glove. This is a, a good demonstration of how subtle the chemicals present in our indoor environments and how they interact with us can be. It's part of our everyday life because the scented products are part of our everyday life. I'll give you another example, the one I love. Cat urine. Okay. This is not left-handed and right-handed. This is just a question of odor receptors. And some people have odor receptors for some of the chemicals in cat urine that other people lack. And so you can have two people sharing a house and the one person says, we've got to clean that litter box, it stinks. And the other person says, no problem. In a way, they're both right. The person who lacks the odor receptor for the urine note in cats, you know, they don't get it. I think human beings can still detect things that the instruments cannot. And uh, the wines we're drinking tonight are a terrific example. You cannot distinct, you can use instruments to distinguish between a bad wine and an okay wine. But you cannot, with an instrument, distinguish between an okay wine and a superb wine. And, uh, and sniffers, human, human beings, they can, they can tell things that the instrument still can't detect.